Archie and today I'm going to be talking about how I got my hair lightened with hydrogen peroxide and baking soda. Now that sounds crazy just saying it because <laughs> it sounds like you're exper legit experimenting on your hair. But for me it worked and I was shocked that it did. I process on YouTube myself and I was like there's no way that this will work like seriously but I tried it and lo and behold you got a ginger so first I will say that like this process for me personally was way better than um, any experience I've had with bleach because I feel like bleach damages your hair after like each process but with this process I didn't get any damage to my hair it felt the exact same way but first I'm gonna jump into what I used I used of course baking soda I used hydrogen peroxide I used a little bowl and a little black like brush like you know those hair brushes you use to yeah, those little hair brushes you use to like dye your hair. And then um, I went ahead and, you know, created the mixture. But what you want with this mixture, you don't want it to be watery because here it's like watery. And you want it to be like a thicker consistency like pancake batter. So what I did with all that was put that all on my hair. I left it in for about 40 minutes. I had aluminum foil and a plastic bag over my head and as you can see I'm going to put in the um, clip where I was just waiting and waiting and then after, it didn't just take me one time to get to this, it took me maybe three times I think. Yeah I think it took me about three times but I was very surprised, I was like oh my gosh and to tone my hair I used purple shampoo and I use purple shampoo on my hair dry because wet it wouldn't work for me and when you put it on your hair dry it gives you like a more intense you know result yes I feel like I just all over the place but um the pros and cons of this is the fact that like okay the pros is that it doesn't I feel like it doesn't do any damage to your hair to be quite honest I feel like it does not damage your hair it just lightens it because bleach, you get everything. You know you're going to damage your hair when you bleach your hair. And that's the part that sucks. It's because you know when you go into it, you're going to be damaging your hair, which is annoying. So I was like, can I have something that I know like my hair is going to be okay? In this process, I will say, like, again, it didn't damage my hair. And I was shocked about that. But the cons... I don't think they really have any besides the fact that like when you're doing it it gets kind of itchy but I feel like that's with any process but yeah I just wanted to share my experience and what I did and things like that because you know I've seen this on YouTube myself so I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit oh my hair I'm literally a ginger yes I just had to share that I'm a ginger now and I accept my fate. So, I think that's about it. I just wanted to share the process that I went through and explain a little bit on, you know, how it worked. That's not being weird. Um, I thank you for tuning in to my little quick video about my hair and I hope to see you on my next one.